Hello and welcome. I am Rob Riches and this is Fit Foods, the only show where great taste and health come naturally. On today's show, we're looking at guilt-free, delicious summer alternatives. And with summer just around the corner, we're all having to cut back and make a few sacrifices to get ready for the beach. But dropping the calories doesn't mean dropping the taste. Today, I'll be sharing with you one of my personal favorites, a whole wheat pita pizza that is a great tasting and easy alternative to the delivery or store-bought pizzas that weigh in at nearly 20 grams of fat and a gut-busting 380 calories per slice. Now, if you're anything like me, when it comes to eating pizza, rarely will I stop at just one slice and the calories soon build up. Yet, with our healthy alternative, we're looking at just 330 calories for the entire pizza. What's more impressive, it yields 35 grams of lean muscle building protein and less than half the fat content of this slice alone. Now, the basics of a pizza are fairly simple and generally they're healthy ingredients. We have the base, the sauce, the meat, and all the toppings. Now, that's where the basics end and the creative juices can really begin flowing. And best of all, this dish takes just 20 minutes from start to finish. So first things first, let's get the oven set at 450 degrees Celsius. Almost forgot. As with all good nutrition, we need a good foundation to lay the base. And for our pizza, I'll be using this 12 inch aluminum pizza dish. Now that we have our tray, we need to ensure that the pizza slides freely off when we get it out of the oven. I found the best method is to use a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, drizzle it on the tray, and then using a towel, spread it evenly about, to make sure we get our pizza off the tray as soon as it comes out of the oven. Okay, now onto the base. I'm swapping regular crust pizza for this whole wheat pita bread. This is only 80 calories per pitta, which saves us 120 calories on the regular crust, and it's only a tenth of the sodium. You see, my problem with the regular pizza crusts, besides the high calorie and sodium content, is that they're usually made from white bleached flour. In this process, nearly half of the original wheat and germ has been removed, along with most of the nutrients. By using a whole wheat pita bread as our base, all of the bran and germ of the wheat are still present along with all of their health benefits, which include being a great source of fiber and magnesium. Next, we're gonna add a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil onto our base, which is high in oleic acid or omega-9 and helps to keep our arteries supple, a powerful antioxidant, and can even help prevent cancer. For years, fats have been the bad guy when it comes to the fight against losing weight, but that's only half the story. Olive oil is a naturally occurring fat in a structure that's known as cis form. Unlike these man-made hydrogenated fats that create dangerous trans fats found in things like margarines, packaged foods, and even takeout pizzas. Okay, next up, the sauce. I'm using a low sodium organic naturally bought store tomato sauce, but if you can't find this, you can make your own from organic vine ripe plum tomatoes and cherry tomato puree. Tomato sauce has powerful antioxidant health benefits thanks to an ingredient called lysopene, which can potentially help reduce the risk of prostate and breast cancer. What's even better is that when lysopene is eaten with fatty foods, it's absorbed by the body even better. Next, I need to add a clove of garlic, which also has many health benefits, including anti-cancer properties, and is high in the vitamin B6, C, and the fat-fighting mineral selenium. Garlic can also help in lowering the cholesterol as well as helping to reduce blood pressure. I'm just gonna blend it up here. You can also buy pureed garlic, but I like to make everything fresh. Other health properties also include anti-inflammatory and antibacterial properties. So we definitely wanna get at least one or two cloves spread out across our pizza base like that. Now, no true pizza is complete without cheese. And for our pizza, I'm using a low-fat mozzarella cheese with only six grams of fat per serving. So we need just enough to cover the base of our pizza. 
about three small handfuls, like so. Now with the base made, I can really start to get creative with some of the toppings. So let's see. First, I'll add some spinach leaves on top. It's a great source of iron. Add some great flavors too to the pizza. So let's lay them down on top like that. Now let's go for some portobello mushroom. Just gonna slice this up. And next up, go for some of this tomato. Okay, while I'm with that, let's get some onion on there too. I'm using red onion for this. Lay these around, it's really starting to take form now and look like a pizza. And let's get some red pepper on there. This is my favorite part of making pizza. My mum always used to tell me not to play with my food, but uh, I say otherwise, absolutely play with your food. Get creative and make your food. Finally, let's add some fresh greens, some basil and some oregano on top. So it'll help bring out the flavors. Finally, with most pizzas only having around seven grams of protein per slice, they lack the quality protein that our body needs for us to really call a pizza a complete meal, but not with our healthy alternative. Now, I'm gonna add some freshly baked chicken that I made this morning and shred it up, placing it down onto the pizza. Now, with the average chicken breast containing around 45 grams of protein, it's a great source of lean quality protein that's an essential nutrient for growth and development. Just finish it up here. Okay, we're nearly done. Time to add just a little bit more cheese, I think. Again, this is a personal preference. And then some seasoning with a bit of salt and pepper. And there we have it, our healthy alternative to store-bought or delivery pizza. Now all we have to do is place it in the oven that's been cooking at 450 degrees Celsius and wait 10 minutes. Okay, so that's the pizza in the oven which has been set at 450 degrees Celsius. I'm gonna set my watch for 10 minutes from now. amazing I can't wait let's get out there looks amazing too now let's compare this to our delivery store pizza that we saw earlier now if you ask me there's no contest when it comes to which pizza is the clear winner when it comes to the fight against fat let's have a look at the numbers Remember, this slice weighed in at nearly 400 calories and 20 grams of fat with less than seven grams of protein. Meanwhile, our perfect summer alternative pizza here weighs in at just 330 calories for the entire pizza. Plus, it has 35 grams of lean muscle building protein, 25 grams of complex energizing carbohydrates, and less than half the fat of this slice here. Well, that just about wraps up the end of Fit Foods for today. Join me next time when I'll be sharing with you more lean and delicious summer recipes where health and taste come naturally. Take care.